Here we are, this is day four. Had two days oh, Mama? of nothing. Mama? Actually, this is the second. Mama? This is the first Mama? night catch. So this is the first night catch. I've had traps on this property for three days, um, but just set this, this location up yesterday, thinking it'll look pretty good, and it's paid off. Got a nice big male tomcat here. And uh, we got a bunch of rain last night. So evidently that's, that got them moving. All right, here I'm gonna remake this set. I checked my records, I got some Dobbins Perfect on it, which is a cat gland lure. Had feathers. If you're going for cats, and especially cats with gray foxes, eye appeal makes a lot of difference. And so having something with some feathers uh, or a wing, some, something with eye appeal, big dirt hole. Now I didn't have a big hole here, so, um, but I'll remake this, put me a couple of punch holes in with my same uh, scents. And you can see a lot of times in the south, you know, your bobcats, what I usually tell people is a lot of times bobcats and otters are the two uh, most valuable furs. And uh, so this one's got a, a nice little belly on it. That'd be a, that's, a, that's a nice southern bobcat. Here I will, uh, I'll remake this set. You can see we just got rain last night, but that's uh, one of the pluses of this you know I've, I'm, I've been using been making the zagger pipe dream sets um, but i've been using his not necessarily using his pipe but using the same bedding technique knowing that we had rain coming and uh you can see there's a boatload of water in the hole itself but uh overall that's not going to affect the the operation of the trap so um, we'll see especially tomorrow will be the real teller when I when I have some catches um, since it's rained since it's rained good this cat was probably caught he didn't look like he's been caught that long but uh, he was probably caught before the rain really started so I got a lot of a lot of sets and I got a lot of this water in them but because of the way I'm, I'm bedding them and setting them with no dirt, just a, a grass covering, there's not a, I don't have a lot of washout or anything like that. So that's definitely a plus. So that's all I'm, all I'm doing. Whoop, careful. Trying to get this trap as bedded as solidly as I can. Hopefully, when all this mud dries. Should have a, I don't want that thing moving. Movement side to side. And you can see I've got this, uh, this is something I've been experimenting with. Is I've got the trip set at an angle. A lot of times I'll just put the dog going straight in, but I've got the dog set at a 45, so that if the animal comes in at an angle, it should, should catch him. I had a nice full front paw catch, so it uh, undoubtedly something's working on that. So I've got my trap, got it set, got it fairly solid. Now I'm gonna grab me some grass to blend it and cover it. And here again, I feel very amateurish covering it like this. If I even last year, if I'd have seen somebody making this set, I would have thought they didn't really know what they were doing. But I think especially in, in wet weather, oh, press too hard. This set's really going to, really going to shine. And especially in the east, we deal with a lot of wet weather. A lot of, in the south, rain. Up north, I know you get snow and freezing, freezing and thawing, which is, makes everything a muddy mess. It wouldn't hurt to have a little bit of dry dirt, but I'm not the best planner ahead, so I just kind of roll with it as I go. Solid. And like I say, I mean, you can see the trap there. I'm breaking up the outline, and of course with cats, it's not a big deal. Coyotes is a little bit more of a concern. Then I'm gonna take my 
And I've got stuff here in the catch circle. I'm just going to kind of mound it up to make me a makeshift backing here. I'm going to bring a little bit of this, put it kind of on this side. And remembering how my trap is set on a 45, back everything off a little bit. I'm going to put a punch hole, a punch hole, and some urine right in the middle. That's what I did yesterday, and it worked. Like I say, a lot of times, if you've got enough dirt and debris or whatever, you can make kind of a walkthrough out of this. I do that a lot. But with this one, I'm just putting this little clump of grass right here. Put me a hole there. Put me a hole there. I'm going to give a squirt of bobcat urine right here. Let's see. I use some, use some Mark June Widowmaker. Supposed to drop off cold tonight. It's been in the 70s the last couple days. Supposed to drop off into the 30s tonight, so that should be a plus. That should help. And then some Dobbins Perfect. There we go. Bobcat gland. Works as advertised. Got a little bobcat urine. I'm gonna give it a shot right in the middle. There's probably already plenty of urine and scent, but just to make sure everything, coyote or something comes by, he's focused. And then I had feathers on here before. I use them again. I like feathers a lot. It's legal. You should probably be using feathers, especially if you're trying to catch bobcats. Running out of feather. Kill some ducks or something. Alright. There she is, ready to go. On to the next one. <laughs>